to ask your Lord to comfort this area. They've been through so much. Let us be an inspiration to those who have lost things. Guide us, my God. Be a light. Stay with us for a long time to come. Two weeks after Hurricane Katrina, this city was a ghost town. And to drive through your city and to be able to hear a pin drop and to look at, you know, every mom and pop business or restaurant that you ever went to, to see all of that boarded up or wiped out or, and no one in town, it was, it was surreal. It was, it was almost like a Twilight Zone episode. Three days after Hurricane Katrina, I uh, went to my house, I had to go by a boat, and it, you know, we had about nine feet of water in my neighborhood, and this is my house. I know, and I, I wanna explain to those people that the helplessness that they might be feeling now, there is hope. There are people that care out there, and there are people that are gonna help. I mean, I, ha I had figured it'd be 10 years before this city would be back up on its feet. When the guys from New York came down, initially they were here just for, to help us with firefighting duties. But as, as time went on, those guys started going out to other firemen's houses and um, helping guys with whatever they needed. So when those guys showed up, it was like, like I said, it was a huge weight lifted off our shoulders. Hey, there's some help here. There's some people outside of this city that care about us and come down here and help us get going again. Uh, we want to go up there and help these guys in any kind of way we can. We don't care if we're down in the basements, shoveling the sand out of the basements. We don't care what we have to do. <laughs> we do. We all <laughs> We're headed up to New York City to help our brother firefighters with a little relief after Hurricane Sandy. I'm excited. I'm ready to get there and get busy. New York firefighters came down when we were in desperate need. It's it's a brotherhood, sisterhood that you know. It, you can only describe by being a part of it. I just want to let you know, though, uh, I'm, I know how you feel, man. Absolutely, and bud. There, there's hope and there's, yeah. there's a light at the, the kids, end of the yeah, tunnel. Yeah, the kids in the uh, white were the biggest thing. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah, I know that feeling. It's, uh, you know, it's a little bit easier for us. Right. Like I was explaining to the guys, you work as hard as you can during the day. You go home, you go to sleep, you wake up the next day, you do it again. I met a bunch of people today that uh, needed help. We saw a bunch of guys that helped us down in uh, New Orleans. And I think we're pretty successful in uplifting our spirits. We're out in a breezy point where all the houses burned down and uh, they actually had one American flag that said, uh, bigger, better, stronger, which meant a lot to me because uh, losing everything in Katrina, that's what I wanted to do is build something better, bigger, and stronger. My name is uh, Billy Shanks, captain of the New Orleans Fire Department. Um, you know, we're up here to help people out. 
and uh, I know you uh, need some help. And uh, this is just a little uh, a little gift from the, the people of New Orleans. I don't know what it is. It's uh, some some cash and a gift card. Um, uh, people, I know what you're going through. All the way. We love all y'all. Hey, all three of us are right here. Lost our house, so we know. It's okay. All three of us. Accept it. Somebody's gonna Gotta seal it. Every day it's gonna get better. Every day it's gonna get better. I was actually looking at at this woman as as if she could have been my grandma, and uh, and that I was helping somebody's mom, somebody's grandma. I'm here to help them. I want to make them feel better, and I'm hoping that through my experiences and having been there twice that I can convey some of this to these people and show them that there is hope. I have a guy here that lost two homes. He lost one for Katrina and he lost one two months ago in Hurricane Isaac and he's going to rebuild. She's exactly what we were talking about, the type of person that we wanted to help. I watched my brothers and sisters suffer with Hurricane Katrina. I saw them lose everything and I knew it's this more than, than what we do as, as uh, firemen. And so, yeah, I'm gonna remember all of these people because my mission was to help these people. You know, I bet she's not gonna forget us. So, mission accomplished.